This is lesson number 20, and we're learning the D7 chord today. Just want to say I'm sorry if I was a little too wordy or lengthy in the previous videos, but there's just so much information to give you as a beginner, and sometimes I have a hard time controlling myself when it comes to talking about the guitar or ukulele. So I'm hoping to do shorter lessons and not explain as much since you understand music and your instrument a bit more. If you ever have questions, please leave them in the comments for me, and I'll be glad to answer you. So let's get on with the D7 chord. This is where it gets interesting now because there's some good shortcuts and we can start to add more songs with this chord in our repertoire. So I have the acoustic guitar on capo 2 and we're tuned to E, B, G, and D. If you're using a berry uke, no capo, tuned to the same notes. Let's start with the C chord. The C chord and the D7 have one note in common and that's on the second string first fret or 2-1. The first finger plays this on each chord and it's called a pivot finger because it doesn't move between the two chords. So to go from the C to the D7, hold the first finger still and move your middle or second finger down one string to 3-2 and then place the third finger on 1-2. When we learn chords, it helps if we can look at them and memorize certain shapes. Looking at our D7 chord, we notice that it looks like a triangle. And when we're holding our guitar properly at a 45 degree angle, it's pointing upward. So to help us remember this shape, just remember the phrase D7 points to heaven. This will make even more sense when we learn the D chord, which points in the opposite direction. So let's make sure we can hear all four notes or strings. And that's gonna be a D, A, C, and an F sharp. Make sure you have good finger position, your nails are trimmed, and your fingers are as close to the frets as possible. So to transfer back from the D7 to the C, it's even easier. Keep your first finger in place, lift off the third finger, and move the middle finger back to the fourth string second fret, 4-2. So stop the video and practice going back and forth slowly between the C chord and the D7. When you're ready, let's do a quarter note strum in 4-4 four, four time. One measure of C, one measure D7, and repeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, D7. One, two, three, four, repeat. One, two, three, four, D7, one, two, three, four. The other chord that's used a lot with the D7 is the G chord. And fortunately, there's a really good shortcut for that. So from the D7, you lift off fingers one and two, and then you slide the third finger from fret two to fret three. So don't lift it off. Just loosen the pressure and then you slide. You'll feel that Second fret's kind of like a speed bump. And there's your G. When you go from G to D7, you're going to move your third finger first, go over the speed bump to fret two, and then you're gonna put down finger one on two dash one, and finger two on three dash two for your D7 chord. Be patient with this, because this is a hard chord. It's your first three finger chord and you're probably gonna do it in three different moves. It'll be one, two, three. After a while, you move them all at once. So stop the video a bit and practice this chord change slowly. When you're ready, let's practice doing a half note strum in four, four time. One measure of G, measure of D7, and repeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, D7, one, two, three, four, slide to G, one, two, three, four, D7, slide, one, two, three, four. Good job. Just be patient with that. Don't get discouraged because that will take a while. And if you're a beat behind on chord changes, that's normal for a beginner. So keep practicing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.